Uh, this is an anonymous question. Um, uh, is there a, we'll see why it might be. So is there a way to allow my users to view events in SharePoint that come from a, an exchange calendar and then allow them to add themselves to the meeting or add it to their calendar directly and stay updated with changes? Essentially be registered through a click of a button on SharePoint. So it's a, it's a registration process in SharePoint. Correct. Custom development opportunity. <laughs> Other than custom development. <laughs> I don't know of a way out of the box, but I'm not necessarily one who would know. So going back to my previous point, exchange. You mean now. in that other video that the people watching this one have no idea about, Max? Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> Perhaps you should recap, Max. It, maybe I should recap. Yeah. Yeah. Exchange calendars do not play well with SharePoint. That is just a fact. It's due to a myriad of reasons, mainly authentication, authorization, and permissions. Um, that SharePoint just can't pass that along to Exchange and get it back, and it, it, it's not meant to work that way. Uh, Think SharePoint, fields and McCoys. SharePoint has SharePoint calendars, which can be viewed in Exchange in Outlook because Outlook has the capability to go pull those on a um, PC, but not on a Mac. That's that is actually a really good disclaimer. Not on Mac. Um, the, the Personally, I don't care about those people, but I, I realize there are people that use those. For, other for the sake of this anonymous question, assume that 60% of their user base is Mac. <laughs> That's a the strangely precise number. <laughs> the answer to this, out of the box, is no. So what about custom? Sean, I'd love to, to hear your couple of minutes of talking through this at a custom level. Um. I would build a web part that taps into graph. And if the event is public, you know, take a look at um, what you can get out of Exchange. And then you want to add the person to it. You know, that's instead of a get, that's a post. So that would have to be a, a group or a shared calendar as well. It couldn't be like an individuals and then have access to be able to add yourself to it register for it so there's that layer as well on the exchange side that there'd have to be the permissions to get into it so it it's it's going to depend on how you do your azure ad app registration if you do it as an app or user a token authentication if you do it as an app you can grant um access to the entire organization's <laughs> exchange information which is a dangerous thing to do and a lot of security people probably don't, wouldn't do that don't recommend it from a security standpoint but yes then you could as sean was saying hit post events you you grab the event id of the exchange event and you do a post call add users to the invite um fields and it would add it on their calendars. Um, they, for those who, I was going to say, for those who are security conscious, you may want to actually consider this as a provider hosted add-in in SharePoint, if we're talking uh, the cloud. Do your interactions with the Exchange server through the app-only context uh, and take your business rules and security concerns um, and build those into the provider hosted add-in and then give your users access to the provider hosted add-in where the stuff that you're trying to share with them could be shown in a window and an entire page, whatever. But that becomes the, the layer that gives you control uh, on top of that to make sure your business rules and security are enforced, the provider hosted add-in. Or add in, sorry. I I have one other thought. Um, 
I don't know why the the reason why the and there may be a reason from this person that uh, the events have to come from an exchange calendar. But let's presume for a moment they don't have to come from an exchange calendar. Maybe it's a SharePoint calendar. And that again, you can on Windows have that SharePoint calendar in Outlook. Uh, and on Mac, you can view it in SharePoint on, on, on your SharePoint site. Um, you don't have to go to the extent that Sean and I were talking about to get it on other on the individual's calendar. Uh, if you don't need it to all be one big uh, calendar invite, you could just through a simple Power Automate flow, hit a register button and it goes and it adds an event to your calendar. It wouldn't be linked back to the main event, but it just adds it to your calendar. If there's a Teams meeting join link, it can throw the Teams meeting join link in there. Um, I, I'm not going to say this is a full-fledged registration system, um, but if you want a full-fledged registration system, you either have to build it or buy it. This has been an interesting discussion. And uh, and let's see what happens. Let's just mix it up. Let's go crazy, kids. <laughs>